You know the scenario, it's late at night, people have a few beers, and then the idea arises, hey, let's get a tattoo. Now, a ginger's been there, now in the nation's capital, local officials are contemplating a new law that will require a 24-hour waiting period to force people to, quote-unquote, think before they ink. This law would also apply to piercings. ABC's Susan Salney uh, is in Washington covering the story. Hey, Susan. Good morning, Dan. Well, as you may know, if you have a tattoo or a piercing, people say being spontaneous is a big part of the fun. Walking into a tattoo parlor to get inked or pierced. If you say you're ready, then I'm going to pierce you, okay? Is often an impulsive decision. Here, that's Woody Woodpecker with a gun. Let me guess that this one was for the moment. Yeah, this one was an old one. The result of just being in the mood. Both of mine have been walking. My last name is Yule, which means owl in German, and my sister and I are getting matching tattoos. But this morning, some local regulators in the nation's capital are trying to put a stop to impulsive inking by proposing a 24-hour waiting period for tattoos and piercings. The city's Department of Health says it's a public safety issue. It's a business buster. But the body artists we spoke to say they're worried a waiting period would hurt their bottom line. One of the cornerstones of the body art industry has been the walk-in service. And by eliminating the walk-in service, you're essentially killing the business. The proposal getting under the skin of customers as well. If somebody wants to come in as a walk-in, they're getting, you know, they're, they're going to pay for the service. That's on them. If they regret that decision down the road, that again is on them. It shouldn't be up to the shop to regulate people's poor decisions. But parents seem to disagree arguing that the provision is in the best interest of their children. This wait and hold time will do such wonders for their ability to protect themselves if they're not sure if they want to do it, and a parent's ability to protect them, to say, let's register and then let's give ourselves 24 hours to really talk about it. The public now has 30 days to comment on the proposal before it could potentially become a final regulation, leaving ink and piercing enthusiasts to wait on pins and needles. ABC News reached out to city officials for comment. No word yet on how they intend to sell this plan to think before you ink to a skeptical public. Fiana and Dan. See, I, I mean, I understand, but is this a national epidemic? I mean, what, out of all issues to, to, to cover, why, why, why this? You're right. And I mean, talk to Ginger. She was the one. You yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, very, very justfully. I wish I had enough guts to get one. I just don't. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah the, the, the permanent factor is what throws that, me that's off. It. Yeah. It took Always me a long time you. to pierce yeah. my ears. So. Fear of commitment. Fear of commitment. Fear of commitment. <laughs> Dan's problem. Yes. <laughs> but moving on now. All right.